Hello and welcome to the Philippines. Today I'm going to show you uh, Pristina North. It's a subdivision uh, in the foothills uh, of Cebu City. Very nice subdivision and uh, still have lots. Many of these lots have been bought. They just haven't been built on yet. Uh, custom homes and we also have uh, condominiums there and I'll give you uh, some pricing information a little later here. This is in Talamban on the north uh, end of Cebu City and it's uh, much closer to what you would expect to see in subdivisions in the USA. I'm not quite sure about Europe and the re Asia and the rest of the world uh, but you have a combination of townhouses off here to our left. Those townhouses uh, she told me are 119 square meters it equals uh, 1,280 feet approximately. I looked online. I did not find uh, the, any townhouses uh, for rent at this time, but there could be townhouses for rent up here. Um, sometimes you have to go through a realtor to get that in type of information or other types of sites. Uh, vacation rentals, for instance. I've, I've seen some of these houses on vacation rentals dot com something like that so you have uh, townhouses very nice subdivision you have people who and they still have a few lots uh, uh, for sale smaller lots I think I think all the larger lots have been sold but they have some smaller lots still for sale and uh, then you can build your custom home there and they have certain guidelines that you have to follow. I visited another site also that I'll put another video up and uh, they gave me uh, various types of information on what's required. For instance, the, the other one you're required to build a house at least four million pesos. Uh, so they want to keep the, they don't want you building a shack basically on uh, in a very nice development. And I believe this started about 10 years ago and then uh, of course, people buy the property and they start uh, going through the process of getting architectural plans. And uh, so you have many, many houses up here. And uh, this area we're driving through right now still has, has a number of lots that haven't not been built on it. Some people buy the land hoping to resell it. And I found a number of houses for sale on the Internet. I also found a rental listed online up here. And... Uh, the rental is going to be sure you're sitting down now. One of these houses up here, a large uh, four bedroom, uh, plus it had a bedroom for uh, for the maid and a bedroom for the driver, your driver, I believe. Uh, so that would be like six bedrooms. 480 square meters or 5,166 square feet. Now, is that enough room for you? That's the question. Now the rent was listed online as 150,000 Philippine pesos per month, or about 3,000 U.S. dollars. Now there are people with more money than I have available every month uh, that that would pay that kind of money, and then uh, if, if you could get actually, you could have. Uh, uh, three or four people share that rent, and that, that brings it down to 750 to 1000 a month apiece. Really not that bad, uh, by Western standards anyway. But look at that house. Is that a nice house? Now we'll swing around here. That lot is sold. These lots are available, were available when I was up there. Smaller lots, uh, I think there was four lots along here. And they listed for about ten million a piece, or one hundred ninety-six thousand U.S. dollars. Let me jump back to the uh, townhouses for a minute and give you the price, the sale price of those. I was told uh, twelve to sixteen million for that one hundred nineteen square meters, or one thousand two hundred eighty square feet, and that is about the equivalent of uh, two hundred twenty-one thousand to 300,000 U.S. dollars at 51 pesos to the U.S. dollar. Um, I'm not sure what the difference is, the 12 to uh, 16. I'm not sure the difference in in location or what it is. Uh, but anyway, they gave me those prices. I 
did not have the opportunity to uh, visit to see the inside of those. Uh, so uh, I'll give you contact information uh, in the information section of the video if you want to contact uh, the salespeople. This is uh, owned and developed by Abowitzland here in Cebu City, a pretty big developer. I was told that all of the uh, utilities are underground, your water, electric, uh, sewage, uh, plumbing, all that type of thing. Uh, so much more similar to what many of you are used to. There are a number of developments going on up in the, the foothills here and uh, around the Philippines, uh, different places. Over in, uh, over in uh, on, the, on the west side of Cebu Island, uh, they have another development, even has its own waterfall, I was told. And uh, so there are lots of options here. If you've got the money, uh, <laughs> they've got the... They've got the houses and, and developments. 24-hour security, of course, and you didn't see walls around the individual homes. I believe you can have a, a small wall, possibly, uh, but not the big walls you see in many areas. Here is the main entrance to the development. I don't think that's the uh, development watchdog. Uh, it just happens to be there watching out for... <laughs> So there is a lot, but that is sold already, and you custom build your houses on those lots. Now this gives you an idea of where it's at. Uh, the main road way off to the left here, that's uh, Talamban Road, uh, Talamban. Uh, and uh, you're up in the foothills there. Um, from what I've learned so far, I've, I've heard uh, pricing for land itself anywhere from uh, 10,000 per square meter to 25,000 per square meter for the more expensive stuff and I'm sure you can find it more expensive than that. Uh, 20,000 per square meter and a hundred square meter lot which would be a small lot uh, would be about 40,000 US dollars just to give you an idea and then you're going to build a house there obviously or something, or you're going to hold the land for investment and resell it. That's uh, one reason why a lot of these lots are uh, still there. They're, uh, you look online and you'll find lots for sale. You will find houses for sale in this uh, subdivision. Uh, so that's an opportunity. And you might be able to uh, contact an owner if they haven't sold it. Maybe you can rent it. Uh, there are, I, I did find one rental there. And yeah, I'm sure you can find others different times of the year. This topo map must be old because uh, the development is much more built up since uh, that photo was taken. Uh, anyway, that gives you an idea at a uh, newer subdivision. And I can hear you all saying, finally, finally he showed us a newer subdivision. Anyway, thanks for coming along. Please like, please share the video, please subscribe. Safe travels to you all wherever you're at, and we'll see you next time.